Private U.S. moon landers set for historic launches. In a historic move, two American private companies are gearing up for the launch of spacecraft that will attempt soft landings on the moon, the first such mission since the Apollo 17 in 1972. Astrobotic, based in Pittsburgh, plans to launch its Peregrine lander on January 8, followed by Houston-based Intuitive Machines with its Nova Sea lander on January 12. Notably, these uncrewed missions mark a departure from NASA's direct involvement, as private firms take the lead. Operating under NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services Initiative, both missions aim to deliver scientific instruments to the moon. Astrobotic and intuitive machines will collectively carry about a dozen payloads, including a physical Bitcoin and miniature sculptures by artist Jeff Koons. The initiative encourages private companies to own and operate lunar landers, with NASA paying a fixed price for their services, a cost-effective approach compared to traditional robotic lander missions. Astrobotics Peregrine Mission 1, scheduled for launch on January 8, holds the potential to attempt a lunar landing by February 23. Its destination is the Sinus Viscositatus Bay of Stickiness, an ancient lava flow near the Groothausen domes. The mission's primary goal is the initial reconnaissance of the lunar surface. Among the payloads Peregrine carries are NASA instruments like the Peregrine Ion Trap Mass Spectrometer, designed to measure water molecule movement as the lunar surface heats up. Additionally, a NASA neutron spectrometer will search for hydrogen-bearing minerals near Peregrine, a key indicator of water content. Astrobotics' journey to the moon involves a ride on the maiden flight of the Vulcan Centaur, the latest heavy-lift rocket from United Launch Alliance. While United Launch Alliance boasts a stellar mission success rate, the inherent uncertainties of a new rocket's first flight add an extra layer of excitement and challenge. Expressing confidence in the mission, Astrobotic CEO John Thornton states, This is the big day, the big moment. We're thrilled that we were honored with the opportunity to do it, and now it's put up or shut up, right? The success of these private lunar missions will mark a significant milestone in space exploration, showcasing the capabilities of commercial entities in advancing lunar exploration. In a groundbreaking finale, the stage is set for two private American companies to make lunar history. Astrobotic and intuitive machines are on the verge of launching spacecraft for soft landings on the moon, an unprecedented feat since Apollo 17 in 1972. Departing from NASA's direct involvement, these uncrewed missions, driven by the Commercial Lunar Payload Services Initiative, aim to deliver a dozen payloads, including a physical Bitcoin and Jeff Koons miniature sculptures, to the lunar surface. Scheduled for January 8, Astrobotics Peregrine Mission 1 targets a potential lunar landing by February 23, exploring the ancient Sinus Viscositatus Bay of Stickiness. Equipped with NASA instruments like the Peregrine Ion Trap Mass Spectrometer and a Neutron Spectrometer, this mission seeks to measure lunar water movement and detect hydrogen-bearing minerals. The journey to the moon involves Astrobotic hitching a ride on the inaugural flight of the Vulcan Centaur, United Launch Alliance's latest heavy-lift rocket. CEO John Thornton exudes confidence, declaring, This is the big day, the big moment. We're thrilled that we were honored with the opportunity to do it, and now it's put up or shut up, right? The success of these private lunar missions signals a significant leap forward in commercial entities driving lunar exploration.